Well, I've devoured uh, many, many comics over the last few years in preparation for this. And I think what's exciting about comics is they give you such a visceral visual punch when you read them. So certainly when we look at those, it's like, how can we use that sort of like the cinema within comics and bring that into the universe? There are aspects of it in the comic books that you can draw on in terms of characteristics, in terms of mental abilities, in terms of some of the lore of where the spider comes from. So part of what we have dug into is not only Madame Webb's lore, but the lore of the spider. The comics are definitely a foundation from which we leap, but this is a very different version of Madame Webb to the comics because when we meet her, she's much older and this is really her origin story. So we got to go back and imagine how she might have ended up where she is. And hopefully there'll be lots more to uncover. She's a clairvoyant who has a lot of influence and impact. She's very, very present in many, many of the comics. And I think the most interesting thing about the Madame Web movie is it's how we get to the point where she first appears in the comics. So it's an origin story. I always say, if you're gonna do a superhero movie, do an origin story. Madame Web is just such an interesting prospect because she's unlike any other superhero. Most of them have these superpowers that come from strength and ability and agility. And with her, it's all psychological. And I found that fascinating and something incredibly exciting to explore. Two camera, two camera mark. Two mark. She's not flying around and, and spinning webs, but she is weaving tentacles or, or webs into the world as an information gathering tool. And that's the sort of visual analog, but it's really a, like a mind expansion. The tribe who have been the keepers of the spider, if you would, have a philosophy about what it means in terms of the venom and what it can do. In her case, and in, in many cases, they have different clairvoyant abilities. And in her case, being a weaver means that she can weave together the strands of time. So she can see different timelines of the future and she can see how they interweave or don't interweave depending on how events occur. So it's a very powerful ability to see into the future and potentially affect the future. When you take on the responsibility, great power will come.